you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow, we gave our today. All I thought we were fighting for was to stop the Jerry's coming over here and taking over this country, which I think they would have done. And I don't know what would have happened here then. How many of us would have got, you know, murdered, killed, slaughtered, whatever. I was 19 years old. I heard the call. My mother said, son, the mother country is at war of gold. Let us get this straight. The Germans wanted to rule the world. And a serviceman lives a very hard life, a very difficult life. To those who live in a cushioned society today, it's a far with wicked life to be a serviceman. Hard, tough, and people don't think about it. As volunteers, I decided to volunteer. You just sat there and you searched the sky. It's not something you want to go through, but having gone through it, it's an education, you know, it's, you know what's going to happen if the war starts. The British Union of Fascists have adopted Nazi symbolism. Just 18 days after this rally, the British Union of Fascists outlawed. The question that they used to ask, if I live in trees, where did I learn English? How did I get in the RAF? Presently, I decided to re-educate them as much as I could. A bullet does not differentiate between black and white. So don't be stupid. But the government never tell us anything, tell us anything about it. Now, now our government, folks back home said their folks didn't come back. In it is believed another 15,000 will make the long journey. Already their coming has caused a national controversy. First and foremost, of course, is the long-term policy that ultimately will have to be adopted. And that is the development of the West Indies themselves, because that is the only answer. They didn't know an awful lot about how we lived. I was so cold, you know. This is not for me, I want to go back to my sunshine. We have never seen a country like this before. We have never seen snow before. But snow falling from the sky was something phenomenal. And if you have never seen snow before, those who were born and, yeah. born and grown up in England, you should be taken for granted today. Yeah. But in those days, it was something special. So it was a difficult time, both for the people here and the people who came. The first thing I noticed was all the laundries and everything were hanging up just like south. You are washing them in lines, just how we do in Africa and everything. I came over here primarily because my mother sent for me. I, I ran away three times. Um, in one instance, they, I think they had to stop the planes because I, I was on the tarmac. In this country, in 15 or 20 years' time, the black man will have the whip hand over the white man. The National Front, um, about two weeks before I was to be a mayor, let it be known that if Sam King becomes the mayor of Southern, they're going to slit my throat and burn down my house. A fifth or a quarter of such towns and cities as Wolverhampton, Birmingham and inner London will in course of time consist of the Commonwealth immigrants and their descendants. There has been no attempt at refutation. And the politicians start to do, do more or less stir up the, 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 the public because people felt like that you came here, the immigrants came here to take away their jobs and everything. First, first of all, there was widespread racism and there's a reaction against the racism. So black people were not having or not taking this racism um, lying down, they were going to fight back. So I suppose 58 marks a turning point when the whole country knows that, you know, if you kind of go to black people, harass them and dismiss them and not dismiss them, beat them up and fire bomb their houses, there's going to be a reaction to that. That's what the Nottingham Rats were all about. Black people got together, fought back, defend themselves, and that sent a message to the entire country. Yeah, after having, having sort of lived the way and been in the forces and such, I thought, well, be really nice to do something in my community. One of the things that really 
concerns me is that after 70 years, we still do not recognise the contribution that black people made to the war, both on the home front and in, in the services.